I'm David Wilhelmsen and I'm here today to give you an art lesson uh, in watercolor painting. We're going to learn to use the watercolor paints and we're going to be doing a beautiful painting of this forest scene here, like an autumn scene with all the different colored trees with a rolling brook and the mountains in the background. Uh, but before we get started, just what you would need today for this doing this lesson. I have a watercolor set here. Uh, you could have it with the primary colors and that. I have it basically with all of these secondary colors and that, which more or less I don't use all of them, but you'll see as we go through the lesson. Um, watercolor set, pencil, three brushes here. The watercolor brushes, soft, soft uh, bristles on them. Uh, I have a number 12, a number 10, and a number 8. All right. So you could be using small ones or a large one. It doesn't matter really. It makes it a little easy having those brushes. A paper towel, a cup of water, and a ruler. A little straight edge probably, but you'll see it's not too important having that, but it helps a little bit. Um, and the tablet here, the painting uh, pad, uh, the watercolor paper I use is 140 pound weight, which is a heavier paper. Um, but if you have a pad, that's fine, a watercolor pad. Um, I'm uh, doing this upright here, which is a little bit more um, challenging uh, with watercolor, but if you could paint, it'd be best if you paint on a flat surface, a table uh, would be great because you don't want the paint to run, but we'll go through that too. I have ways of taking care of if you get the paint uh, where you don't want it, uh, just to use it and correct it. All right, so now we're going to start with the pencil here, and I want you to do a line in the middle, right in the middle on the top, we put a mark there, and on the bottom, right in the middle, we put a mark there on the bottom, okay? And on the left side, going down, we put it in the middle there, and on the right side, we put it on the middle. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line between the two of them. It doesn't reach, but I'm just getting a general idea between them, and I have a horizontal line going across in the middle, all right? And what we have here in the middle here, we have a top and a bottom. I'm going to put a, a line there. It doesn't have to be too dark. All right. And I got it there. So I gave a general idea what the middle is here. Okay. Now with this painting here, we have mountains in the background. And we have a rolling brook. So I'm going to use the base of the mountains as that middle line in here. Okay. And what we're going to do is between the middle here in the center and the top, we're going to put right in the middle a dot here. And that's where our mountains are going to be. All right. So we're just using that right now for that. But before we do other mountains, we're going to do these trees on the left and the right side. So what we're going to do is at the, in the middle here, we're going to go down between the middle and the bottom in the center. We're going to put a dot there also. Okay. And that's going to delineate where we put this brook, the rolling brook. So let's get with the trees first. We're going to go from the middle dot here and we're going to go over an inch on the right, left and an inch on the right. All right. We're going to start with the trees. We're going to go up here to the middle on the left side, the middle and to the top. You're going to draw another dot on the middle there and we're going to do these just curvy things going down gradually, 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 gradually. There we go. Okay. And on the right side, we're going to do the same thing between the middle and the top. We're going to put a dot there. And from this point here, this one inch in to that dot, we're going to go again with the trees going down, making these pillowy shapes for the trees for now. All right. And now we're going to be doing this rolling brook. What we have is this curved zigzag line and it gets bigger as it goes towards you. So between the middle dot and the, the middle of the paper here, the center and this middle dot here on the center line, we're going to put another dot there. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here on the left and the right, two inches over. Okay. Two inches over on the left and the right. We're going to go and we're going to do a squiggle and we're going to go connect that. You see that? 
And we're gonna do that over here too. We're gonna to follow that same squiggle. All right, so you have this wandering, wandering thing. If you really get tired of it, you could just draw a straight line and make a cone, and we're gonna follow that just gently to make it a straight brook instead of a babbling brook with this, all these rocks in it. Okay, now we're looking to do the mountains here. Okay, so we're gonna go up to that dot, all right? And we're gonna do a peak that way and down, and then we do a peak over here that's not as high, and we do that down. I'm gonna draw that one over there and you should have the mountains look like that. Okay, up, down, up, down. All right, now we're gonna do the bottom of these trees. We're gonna go between the middle and a halfway point there, the bottom and the middle there, and the same thing over here on the right side. So you have the left and the right side, a middle mark again. So we're gonna go with that again, that pillowy shape of the trees. This is the bottom of them on the left side. And over here, we're gonna be doing it the same thing. I'm gonna meet that mark over here. So we have the trees. And now for the easy part here, we're going between the trees and the brook. I'm gonna draw a straight line all the way up there and a straight line all the way there. Okay? And we just got just the tree trunks, okay? Tree trunks are gonna be leaning just do these sticks for now. All right. We're making free form ones like that. They don't have to come all the way down to this. Again, tree trunks here, tree trunks here, tree trunks there, tree trunks there. All right, so we have something to go by we're putting in our paints. Now we're gonna be ready to start painting. I'm gonna start with a yellow and I'm gonna use the large brush. Put the large brush in the water. I'm gonna put my ruler down. I'm gonna hold my paper towel. I want you to hold your paper towel, fold it up, okay? Fold it up. I'm gonna dab it a little bit on here. I'm gonna put it in here. I still got to clean out my center here so I could get it nice and clean. Now I'm gonna put some yellow in the center mixing part. And I'm going to be doing the top of the trees. All right. So yellow on the top of the trees. Yellow on the bottom of the trees here. See here. All right. I need more yellow for the right side. Do the top of the trees. All right. All right, now I'm going to be doing by the brook there, the yellow in here, okay. Now what I want to do is the next thing I'm going to do is the sky. I'm going to take the paper towel, wipe out my area, my mixing area, and have it nice and clean. Now I'm going to put, wet my brush, dip it into the blue. We had water, so I have plenty of blue here. Now I'm just going to do wash out my brush. I got it full of water, damp it a little bit, and I'm going to paint the top with just the top area here with clear water. Okay? Now I'm going to dip into the blue and I'm going to go up there with it. See how it runs down? I'm gonna mix more water, more blue. Now I have that stripe of blue on across. Now I'm washing out my brush, gonna dab it onto the paper towel, I got a clean brush, and I'm gonna roll it across here. See how my brush is? I got it on the side of the brush. Wash it out again, roll it across here. And now I wet it, and I can blend it better now. I have a clean brush that's damp, okay? 
And I want to go along the mountains now. Now I can control the blue paint better. Put a little more blue in there. Going around the mountains. There we go, we have a nice shades there. Now we're going to do the blue for the babbling brook. The first layer of blue. And filling in that brook. If you go over the line, it's fine. We're going to be doing the ground there. I didn't erase any of the lines here. I'm going to be going over and over and over that. If I really want to get rid of them now, the water in there, I can take it out with the brush. It'll take up most of the lines. I can scrub it out there, okay? For what I need it for. Okay, now I'm going to add a little more blue to that. The brook. Now I'm going to wash out the brush, blot it onto the paper towel, and I am going to go and just work that color blue all around into that brook. All right. While we got blue on our palette, I'm going to make it a gray. I'm going to add brown, a little bit of brown to that blue. So I have like a gray. I'm going to do a washed out gray. Now the washed out gray is going to be for the base of these mountains. All right, so we're going to leave them like snow caps. So we're going to have the top of the mountain, we're going to leave white. And the bottom, we're going to put All right. All right, there we go. Now we're going to get into some green. We got those mountains going. Today I've been using my paper towel. I want to show you if you're working upright, even if you made a mistake on your, your painting, you can blot it up with a clean part of your paper towel. Or if you have another piece of paper towel, you can use to blot it. Okay, so now we're going to take, I'm going to clean out my palette here where I mixed my gray. And I'm going to do green. Where I want to put the green is at the bottom of the mountains in here and following the brook. Okay, so I'm going to use a yellow first. Okay, yellow. And then I add green to the yellow in my water coloring. Have a nice light green. So I'm going to do that up here. I'm going to go down along the, the banks of the river here. I gotta add more of that, make more of that green. It's drinking it all up. The paper is absorbing it all. All right. So I'm working from the banks of the river up at a free form, in and out of the green, on the right side, and now I'm doing the left side. up here. I want to touch the trees. I'm trying to follow that. And now the bank of the river. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash and blend it in. Okay. Now I'm washing out my brush. It's damp still, so I'm blending this in a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to start in with the oranges, with the trees. I'm going to wash out my area that I mixed the green in. Now I'm going to focus on getting up here. The orange is very light. So I'm going to be going into yellow. Take my yellow. Yellow is a very weak color. So I'm going to, not going to bother washing it. I'm just going to go right into the red. And I'm going to have like a... But when I want to go back to the yellow... I gotta wash out my brush. 
make sure it's nice and clean. I don't want to get that yellow. We do not want to get that yellow uh, muddy. If you do get it muddy, just use your paper towel and blot out the red or orange from it. So up here now, I'm making it, trying to make it a light orange. Okay, so now below the yellow, I'm going to go with like these dabs of color in here. All right. The upper part of the trees is yellow, and then the second part is this orange. All right. I'm going to mix more of that color. i got to wash out my brush because I'm going into the yellow. I want to keep that yellow nice and clean. And then some red. Okay. All right, whoops. <laughs> All right there. There we go. Okay. The, I'm gonna get the red. I'm gonna add more red to this orange. Now I'm gonna be getting into the deeper color of a deep orange, a reddish orange here. Getting real juicy colors in here. We're going to be laying color on top of color with this because the watercolor is a very weak coloring. It's like a washed out color. Now what we're going to do, we're going to do the ground. The ground. I'm blotting out my brush. I'm going to pick up some of that extra color there. Blot it out, pick up the color. Now I'm going to do what's on the ground there. I'm going to get the yellow, wash out my brush, mixing a lot of yellow and reds to make a nice autumn color. So in here, okay, and now on this side here, of that orange over the green. I like the leaves. All right, now on the very bottom here, we're going to get into a deeper red. I'm going to keep e put red and I'm going to add a little bit of purple to the red. Okay, and water. So right here, see, it's like a deep, deep color. Being vertical like this, all the colors are running down, but we're going to come in and lay in, as I said, this is just the base of it for the trees. I'm going to come in once these are dry, the tree colors are dry, I'm going to put in more color over them. Okay, now we're going to leave those for now and on the ground here, oh, into the wooded area, I'm going to add some of that dark color and on the left side and on the right side. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back into the brook. On either side of the brook, there's like a deeper color. I'm using what I have in my tray is like a, a muddy red that I used up here. I'm gonna add green to that and that's gonna make the edge of the brook or of the creek. Okay, so that's going to be on either side of this. See, it's nice dark. And I'm going varying thin and wide, thin and wide. OK. 
Okay, now I took all the paint out of that. I'm going to use my medium brush. I'm wetting it and wiping it down, and I'm going to blend in a little bit here. Now I'm going to go into the brook. Blend up here. I'm going to go into the brook next. I'm going to use my um, what I have there, that brownish color, I'm just going to add blue to it. The blue is very strong, and I'm going to add some wavy lines. I'm going to add these stones. Put a couple dots in here. There's right here, one here, one here. Okay, I have these stones, and they're going to wash out. I'm going to blend this a little bit more. I don't want them to stand out too much. I'm washing them a little bit, blending them in, and then with a couple of strokes, I'm putting in with my medium brush up here. I'm waving around here. This is where the brook comes in. You want to put some lines into this water and making it a brook that's active. It's rushing towards you. Put these lines in. Okay. What I do is I also want to show you that I wet down an area here. We'll clean water, wet down an area. Okay. Now I'm going to dry my brush out here. And what I do is I pick up some of that. Do you see that? That could be the white of the water. And another one in here. Okay. So let's move on to the tree trunks here. I'm going to keep this bluish brown color here and I'm going to add some deep blue to it. Deep blue and brown. Deep blue and brown I'm mixing, okay? So deep blue and brown I have here. Now I'm just going to be putting in these tree trunks around them. And I could put a couple branches coming off. And then a little bigger. Ooh, look at that. The color's coming down. That's beautiful. Just perfect for this, what I want to do. Blending these colors. Okay. And on the right side now, I'm going to be doing this. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the mountains, since I have this really nice, on the left side of each mountain, I'm going to be putting down like a slight shadow under the snow cap. Okay, now I'm going to wash out my brush and blend it. It's still wet, like damp wet, and I'm going to blend that. Okay. Now I have these, let's see, these areas here, I want to add more definition to it. So with my medium brush, I'm going to be mixing. I still have that bluish color in the tray here. I'm washing out my blush, brush and I'm adding red to it. So I'm going to get that deep red and purple. Deep red and purple. And what I want to do is I'm going to take some of that color off of my brush and I'm going to be dabbing it in here. A lot of dabbing. These are like the leaves, the groups, the bunches of leaves that are in the tree here. All right. And all right. And then I'm going to do the other side too, over here. And we're going to go along. Always holding the paper towel. Always keeping it on the other hand in case I want to really mix more paint or something's dripping and running. All right, now we have that. And what I'm going to do is between the trees, it's going to be real interesting. I'm going to give that like a deep purple. So, about that reddish mixture, I have my mixing pot. 
and I'm going to put in purple. Okay, I'm folding over my paper towel. It's the nice thing about paper towels, you keep folding over, got a clean edge here. Okay, so now the purple. Purple's going to be between those tree trunks. And add a little bit of red, maybe, make it like a crimsony purple. All right. So now between these, I'm just going to be going in between. Get a lot of purple in there. See, I'm cutting between here. That's why you need your smaller brush. Small or medium. I'm using medium, but you could use your small brush. And go between these tree trunks, okay? And we're going, this is going to be the most, this is where most of the times we spent doing this. I'm pulling in a lot of purple and going around, cutting in. That's what they call this, cutting in with a smaller brush around these tree trunks. If you don't have the time, like you don't have the patience for this, you can just do, cut, cover over those tree trunks and put a, make them darker. But um, keeping it the same as my painting up above, I'm trying to show you how I did it. Okay, and I'm going around them and around them and cutting in and cutting in. Okay, so we got this side done, and we're going to go on the base just with like some. I'm doing some strokes here, like the blades of grass, the tall grass that's on the edge. All right, so now the next side, I'm going to take red and that deep purple, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to work this way from left to right. Dab, 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 dab. Take some off here, put it in here. All right, and we're going to go here, and I'm cutting in between the tree trunks. Here we get more purple in there. And then this one right here. We're going to be able to use the same color by the edge of the brook, so just keep in mind if you have a lot of it there, you're going to be using it. And if not, we're going to mix red and purple or violet. Okay. And here I go cutting in again. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to do some blades of grass. Yeah. Okay, now, for the edge of the brook, okay, I'm going to use a little bit washed out. I'm going to be going in here, just like dabbing it in. So we're not going to do the whole brook. We're going to take some areas there, and I'll show you what we're going to do. Remember, we did some blades of grass there. We're going to do them along the brook. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some brown to that mixture. Okay, and we're going to use the edge of the brush, taking it off there, just using some and just get some blades of grass in there. All right. Make it soften the edges where the brook meets the land here, the edges. And then down here it gets darker and it goes up. Yeah. And then the top part here, we're going to do some lightening there. I'm going to wipe out my, my center here, my mixing area. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do yellow again. I'm going to get the yellow clean brush into the yellow. Okay. I'm going to use straight yellow up on the top here. Okay. I have a different, like a wash up there, but being vertical like this, I'm just doing the keeping not as much water on my brush. I'm trying to keep it where it's not going to run so much down. 
Now I'm going to add a little bit of red to that. I'm going to get in here. Okay, see now I have, I'm laying color over color to give. And we got our nice autumn leaves. All right. Fades out. It's in the distance here. And then we're going to use the same color on the ground here. All right, so. It just blades, like you see the edge of my brush. That's what I could take the paint off and I rub it on here and I can get not much water on it. I got these little strokes of color. All right, and on the right side. Left, right, left, right, right. Keep going back and forth, back and forth. I left some open areas up here that are white so I can fill that in with a little bit of orange grass up here. Adding some water to that. I'm going to go in these things in the distance. Alright. Put some. Okay, I'm going to do some. Just having fun with this, you know, like just dots and dashes. The further back you go, the less you do. And in the foreground here, close up, you do more. So. It should start to look like that. Getting into these leaves now, I leave my orange on there, and I'm going to put some purple into that orange, the orangey red, and I'm going to get dots and dashes down here that are darker. So you also have these leaves that are darker in the shade. Okay. And then over here, I'm going to add a little more purple to it. Okay. And what I want to do is I want to add some definition to those. I'm going to use dark blue under here in these areas right under the tree just to make it pop out a little bit more. The areas right under the tree are going to be that dark blue color. And I'm going to wash that. Blend, it's just damp the brush and I can clean it and blend it in. All right. Keep using my paper towel to take the excess water off. All right. And now I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to be putting colors in there. And this is going to be less tightening it up. All right. I'm going to blend it a little bit. And everything is coming out sharper. We have a couple last details here. I want to just feather up those hills back there. I have some green I'm going to add to this orange mixture to make it a very complex color. It's like a muddy green. And up here on the hill, I'll be doing that. Just a little more water to that. And up here to get it away from the tree color here. Add some patches of green, different greens in here. All right, now I washed out my brush and it's clean and I'm blending in this hillside here. You see how I can just like wash it back and forth? And there we go. 
This is really a very busy, bright, colorful painting. And if you want to keep going back and forth with these colors, blue and purple under these, these leaves here, like there, that's bluish. Add a little red to it. And then I can just get them in there and just define more color. Keep it. Those leaves are what it's all about. Adding blue and blue and red and you get those nice maroon colors that we always identify with autumn. Uh, bum, bum. I'm gonna wash out that hillside a little bit. Okay, now we're looking at the stream here. We're gonna do some touches here along the edge of the stream. I'm gonna darken it up. And then using a little bit of blue and brown in my palette here, mixing it. I'm going to be doing some darker right along there and along the edge here. It's a very nice definition. And we're going to put some blades of grass on the end there. I'm just going to wash out my brush a little bit, get some of the color off. And what I do is I have a clean brush and I Blend that darkness. You see the darkness here? Wipe it off on the towel. And the darkness, I'm blending it. And this way we'll get a nice finishing touch here along the edge of the river, I mean the stream. And I think we're, I just want to add something on those stones in the stream there. Oh. Yeah. And I think we're looking at uh, finished, our uh, finished completed painting here. Hey, we are uh, got a nice finishing touch there to the stream here at the autumn mountain scene and it's looking really colorful and I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Thank you and I see, I'll see you soon.